What is up, dudes? Let me know in the comments after you're done watching how many you get wrong and right. What is up, Unibros? Welcome to another episode of True False or Die. Uh, what do I call it? True False? I think I call it or True else. False. True False or Else in, in the title because I don't want to get demonetized, but it's True False or Die. All right, so <laughs> let's. Uh, I'm going to pull up one player at a time. I'm going to give them a statement, and they have to tell me whether it's true or false. You guys can play along. Let me know in the comments <clears throat> or in the chat at the end how many you get right and how many you get wrong. No cheating. You're only cheating yourself. All right, let's kick it off. Uh, King Eldematic, step on down, bro. All right, all right. Here we you got go. this, bud. I believe in you. I believe in you. All right, so you have to tell me pretty quickly. So, so get ready. True or false? The maker of George Washington's false teeth was Paul Revere. False. That's right, man. Paul Revere wouldn't be doing that. Or would he? <laughs> Paul Revere Paul Revere did make George Watson's teeth. How wild is that? That's a good one. That's a good one. I didn't one. even think about that. I, didn't, I, would, I would have said false on that one. Yeah, I, uh, I was like, no. I know. All right, Mexican Towel, you're up next, man. Oh, wow. Well, okay, great. What? All right. Have confidence, my friend. <laughs> Right. Don't stop moving back. I want to see your face, dude. Stop moving back. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see here. So, true or false? In the human body, the brain stem carries signals from the retina to the brain. Uh, true. That does sound true, doesn't it? But it's not yeah. because I don't. I don't. I'm not. The brain stem is it like the back of the brain. It should right be written as like an eye or something. To, to the, op, uh, yeah. the, optic, the, the optic nerve. Optic the optic nerve, nerve yes. Yeah. I, I would have gotten that one wrong too, by the way. The retina, isn't that the color part? Yeah, no, the, re not. the retina is just like the back of your eye. Back of your eye, yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> this is going to go quickly. Next up, Owen, come on down. Oh, God. Owen, how about right over here? I feel like it's a little brighter. Yeah, there we go. That's. Yeah, whatever. All right, cool. Oh, and let's see here. Uh, these are all from my boy, Insanely Flatulent, by the way. He's a brilliant dude. Uh, I'll share his reading material soon. I think he's got a trigger in chat, but I forget what it was. I think it's maybe exclamation mark Insanely. Um, all right, true or false, Owen? The highest recorded temperature at the North Pole was 12 degrees Celsius, or if you're in Fahrenheit, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this is the North false. Pole. False. Oh, I heard you. Yeah. It's true. North Pole was once recorded to be 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is... That's, that's warm. That's it is warm, it is warm. or 12 degrees, yeah, or 12 degrees Celsius, which is which is warm. That's about actually how warm it is here in New York today. It's, it's warmer than what it is here in England. Yeah. Definitely warmer. Man, we're, we're running through this pretty quickly here. All right. How are you guys doing in chat? What's, the, uh, what's, your, what's your score so far? But anyway, Jack, Jack, come on. Jack, come on down. If I'm there, when, when monkey went, uh, when I still haven't found a good monkey. spot. Can we, can we try over here? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Like right, right where I'm over here. That's like where the light is just kind of gets you a sliver of it. There we go. All right. All right. Sweet. All right, Jack. Will you be the first person to get one right? Let's find no. out. True or false? The Canadian Post Office postal code for the North Pole is H zero H zero H zero. True. You think it's ho 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 is the postal code for the North Pole? Of course it and isn't. The it's something Canada would do. It's true. It's true. Oh. The the, post, <laughs> the, po the Canadian postal code for the North Pole is H zero H zero H zero ho ho ho. Um, oh Canada! Oh Canada! Canada. <laughs> All right. Yep. Jack, just chilling that cabin over there. Sweet. Yeah, that's that's a cool one. That's a cool one. Where does Flash find this? Cabin to yourself. Yeah. All right. Next up, let's take uh, tennis player. Come on down. Tennis player. All right, tennis. All right. Let's see what we got for you. Hello. What's up? Here we go. True or false? The first naval vessel to surface at the North Pole was in 1959 with the USS Skate, a U.S. Navy submarine. False. Why do you say false? Sounds like too much detail. Yes. I agree. I would have said false also. But it's true. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, the first naval vessel to surface the North Pole was, was 1959, and it was the USS Skate. Oh, with the USS Skate. Yeah. Wow. 
Man, this is a this is a tough set, dudes. I would I would have been dead most all basically all these rounds. All right, uh, next up, let's take Spyro. Come on down, dude. D Daddy gamer, three out of five. Three out of five. Yeah, always about the North Pole. I, I thought I randomized these, but you know, I don't. It's fine by me. Look at you, so full of energy, Spyro. So full of energy and hope. All right, true or false, Spyro? Are you ready, by the way? Yeah. Great. All right, true or false? The first test tube baby, or you know, in vitro in, in vitro fertilized baby, was born in 1978. Mm, true. You think they did test tube babies all the way back then, man? Do you think they had the technology to make a baby in a test tube? Yeah. Well, Oh, yeah, you're right. They did. Good job, Spyro. <laughs> Get over, <laughs> over to <My> heart. <laughs> that cabin. <laughs> um, right now, I'm like 0, 0 for 6. All right. Uh, next up, uh, let's take uh, Frequency. Come on down. We'll play cards, Spyro. Don't underestimate humankind, apparently. <laughs> All right. Frequency, you ready for yours, man? Oh, I'm ready. All right, cool. True or false? In the classic story, Rip Van Winkle, uh, Rip, Van Winkle Rip Van Winkle slept for 20 years straight. Uh, false. How long did he sleep in the story? Less than 20 or whatever you said, years. Because 20 years is a lot, right? Yeah. Never gonna... How many years do you sleep when you're dead? In your area. 20 oh, years God. is the amount of time Rip Van Winkle slept well, uh, in, the, in the story. It's not based on a true story. Uh, that's just right. Clinton. Yeah, I know. I know. Although people do sleep for, for a long time when they're like in a coma, right? All right, oh, Charted, yeah. you're up next. If that was me, I'll wake so up you guys are doing, tired. So you guys are doing well. Five <laughs> out of seven in shot? Not bad. Wake up All probably right. fine. <laughs> All right. Charted, it's your go, man. You ready? You feeling your brain muscles uh, feeling strong? Uh, I, I mean, I guess. Great. Here we go. Voice crack. A, a, <laughs> Play that off. Uh, true, I know. <laughs> All right. True or false? A canis lupus is also known as a wolf. Uh, false. You ever read Harry Potter? Uh, no. Nope. Oh, God. I think, like, one book, but... Yeah, they refer to, like, lupus a good time. But, yeah, can canis lupus is a, mm. is a wolf. <laughs> oh, that was anticlimactic. Thank you. Look at that. Gentleman right there. The way, yeah, the like, way you, you know, you, the first time I didn't think it wasn't. I mean, come on, pronunciation. Although I looked, yeah, I, know, in the, but... in, I looked at the column to the right, and 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 flash it for a little note. He's like, "Canis lupus." I'm like, "Oh, I should read that." First. I mean, at first it didn't. It sounds more like canine the second time you said it than the first. Because that. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, the pedanticness. Next up, Lefty, come on down. All right, all right, Lefty. Yeah, you're good, man. All right, um, true or false? Nikolai Tesla is considered to be the father of modern rocketry. True? Question mark. Have you um, <laughs> have you seen those cars? Have, 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 you, have, you, have, you, have you ever seen a Tesla? Oh, right. they, 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 they just sent one into space. Oh. Uh, Wouldn't that make sense? Elon Tesla Musk. in That's space. That was they, so put, they, they put a Tesla. Tesla. They put a Tesla so on a rocket. Oh yeah, space. I watched that launch live on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Cherry Tesla in space. Yeah, but Tesla's oh, known oh, yeah. more for electricity and not for rockets. So no. Te Tesla's the DC guy, I think, or AC. No AC guy, yeah. Whoever yeah, the So the, the, the actual, the actual father of modern rocketry is apparently uh, Robert Goddard. So yeah, there we go. Robert Goddard, but you know, the, I, I can see how it could be confusing considering the recent PR stunt by, by uh, Musky. Yeah, our, Musk. our, our our bro Musk selling flamethrowers. Any of you guys watching buy a flamethrower? I know, no, no, I know, uh, I know Jericho uh, bought one. I was thinking about buying one, but the thing is, I'm I'm Middle Eastern, and like I I don't need to be on some list because I bought a flamethrower online. You know what I mean? I'd be like, I guess um, <laughs> swatted or something. Borderlands? What? Yeah, they're, apparently they're adding the flamethrower to Borderlands 3. Oh, that's great. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty With cool. The flavor text is written by Elon Musk or his tweets. That's great. Did he get his permission? Probably. He's a pretty cool, dude. Well, yeah, they asked him on Twitter. <laughs> oh, they did. That's that's cool. Yeah. I can't wait for Borderlands 2. It's going to be hype. Yeah, All right, Cheese cool. Monkey. 
Come on down, man. Right over the pile of corpses here. All right, cheese monkey. True or false? Um, ascorbic acid is another name for vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is another name for vitamin C. Yeah, stop buying time by reading out false. my thing again. He's using, he's using the voice recognition on Google for that. <laughs> Alexa, so, uh, ascorbic acid. Mute, mute uh, Alexa, what is ascorbic acid, Alexa? <laughs> Did it answer it? Do you have one? Can you ask? No, I don't have one. Do you have? Do you have? A, do you have? A, do you have an Android phone? <laughs> no, I have an iPhone. Oh, can you ask Siri? I don't think she'd know what it was. Don't, don't, don't ask her. That. Ask. Ask. Ask Siri. Ask Siri. Siri, uh, what is ascorbic acid? She doesn't know. Anyway, it is. It is. Siri, let us down. Siri. All right. Ascorbic acid. Uh, is actually, let me see, it's uh, A-S-C-O-R-B-I-C. Uh, tricky, tricky. That one I would have known, actually, for once. Well, All right, two congratulations <laughs> to, wait, only two players? I think you might need to do a second <laughs> round of this. I think we're good. Oh, I, don't need to, I don't need to use all my content. Oh, yeah, true. All right, uh, gentlemen, follow me. Right here is good. Oh, wow, well, just burn side by side. two calories off from that run. Just stay side by side for this one. We're just gonna keep on going back and forth until someone gets it like you know, right twice in a row with the other guys. Spyro. You never know. You never know. All right, Jack, you're up first. Okay. True or false? The Romans originally called Scotland Caledonia. True. 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 They did. Oh, According yeah. to this document, anyway. All right, all right, all right. Caledonia, Caledonia. I don't know. Lucky Scotland, guess. Caledonia. Interesting. Or there's a place called Caledonia in Scotland. I don't know. All right, Spyro, are you ready? Yeah, ready. All right, true or false? The galaxy Earth is in is called the Andromeda Galaxy. False. Which galaxy are we in? Milky Way. And that's a very yes. nice topic. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Thank that goodness, man. Ball. Thank goodness. There we go. It's the some... easy one. Fantastic. Yeah. You got it. Yours right too, man. Yeah, Jeez. but what is <laughs> Can't please anybody. Look at the draw. All right. right. All right. All right. Hang on. I'm going to grab my, my, my mat here. I switched to a, a standing desk and I'm trying to, you know, stick with it. All Take right. Your time, Seth. It's all good, my friend. Thank you. I right, appreciate it. All right, Jack, this one's for you. True <laughs> okay. or false? There are six divisions or signs in a standard astro astrological zodiac. There, False. there are six. How many are there? I don't know. Ten. Guess. Uh, astrological zodiac. How many signs are there? Uh, uh, tw uh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess twelve. How many maybe? months? Yes, twelve. Correct. One for every month. Oh, Good job. There you go. I was like, how there many months are in there in a year? Yeah, but it's not per month. It's like dodgy time. Is a person well, talking right now? Is a smarty pants talking? Right? Are you alive or are you dead? I'm dead because I don't. All right. Have body. <laughs> 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 All right, Spider. This one's for you. All right, I, I see some scores. Nine out of thirteen. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. True or false, Spyro? Scurvy results from the lack of protein in the body. True. Oh. False. False. So let me. Oh, you, you, oh, 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 so you hear a guy go, oh, and you suddenly see your answer? Yeah, that's valid. So you're wrong, but you're not dead yet. But let me explain. Uh, the way I, I learned what scurvy was was back in the day, uh, pirates were, like, losing their teeth and getting sick and all these things were happening. And they found out they started eating, like, lemons. Scurvy went away. They are just missing vitamin C. Scurvy is the lack of vitamin C. Obviously, you don't see it. Yeah. Anywhere these days because Tropicana orange juice is delicious. Tropicana, please sponsor me. I love you. All right. <laughs> so here's the deal. Spyro, if if Jack yeah. gets this question right, you die. If he gets it oh wrong, you got you got another lease on life. Oh, well, I'm gonna get this wrong. <laughs> you go. might. You might. Die. Swift, oh, there's something wrong with your hair, like oh no, it's a gas mask. Never mind. Yeah, it looks like it looked like a piece of poop coming out of his hair. It's, it looks well, like your own. What's he? What's Superman's name? Clark Kent. Clark, yeah, it looks like Clark Kent. Yeah, all right. You mean on the screen or in the game? 
on the game, not no swift. Oh, I don't care how I look in the game. Yeah, you, got, Jeez. You, got, you got a random swirl in your hair when you bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right. Jack, true or false? Here we go. True or false? The word hysterical has its roots in the Greek word hystera, meaning womb or uterus. Tros. Someone just whispered true. I'm going to find you. I'm going to kill you. So, why? That's right. Why would hysterical come from a word know. that means womb or uterus? I don't know. I know hysterical means, like, you know, laughing. It's funny. There's nothing funny about a womb or uterus, if you like. Yeah, but it's true. I don't understand it. I wish there was, that, this is one of those times where I wish there was a note from Flatulent explaining it, but I don't, I don't really got it. So I don't know. I don't know. It's true. Trolls. 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 Uh, Trolls is not going to cut it. All right, so Jack got that one wrong, so. God damn it. All right, we're back to you, Spyro. True or false? The most common name... For a street in the USA is Park. Foss. What do you think the most common street name is? Road. Nope, it's Park. It's true. It's true. Oh. It's like true. Main street or Center Street. Third chance with Jack. You know, I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't believe that one either. All right, Jack. We're back to you. He got that wrong. I think what needs to happen is you need to get this right, and he needs to get the second one wrong. Maybe okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, I forget this out. But let's just see whether you get this right or not first. Okay. So true or false? The longest river in Ireland is the River Thames. False. What's the longest river in uh, in Ireland then? I don't know. It's not the River Thames. R- river Thames. No. Where is the River Thames located? River Thames, it's uh, England, Thames, London. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, you're right. That's Thames, the one. That, yeah. that was the one. Okay. You you got it right. You got it right. It's River Shannon. It's the longest river in, 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 in Ireland. So you got Imagine that never, right. I want a river don't, Jack. Don't, don't tell him River Nicola about that. No. All right. Let me see. If he got that wrong. Wait. I got that right. We, got, we both got that like right. Got yeah, so, uh, what You've gotten more right than uh, wrong. All right, let me just let me just ask King Spyro one more, and we'll go from there. Spyro, if you get this wrong, you're definitely dead. If you get it right, you might still be dead. I'll figure it out in a bit. All right, true or false? In New York City, Broadway is named for a barrier that once kept Native American tribes at bay. True. That's pretty racist, man. Broadway keeping Native Americans out. Uh, no, that was believe it or not the. The actual the the barrier that once kept Native Americans uh, at bay um, was Wall Street. Now Wall Street just keeps the 99 percent out. So you, sir. Artillery ready for orders. Oh. Awaiting coordinates. Well, yeah. Have have, have lost. Congratulations, Woo. Jack. Thank you are the winner. Well. Jack, you. there's one more for you, man. <laughs> one more. What? What? No, 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 Jack, Jack, Jack. The way we do this in this game. Oh, Big yeah, rules over games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you get this right, you kill me. You get this wrong, I kill you. Okay. This is the final question. Final question. Here we go. True or false? There's a point on the earth where every direction is west. True. No. Yeah, false. Only on the north pole, every direction is south. And at the north... Uh, sorry. Oh. At, the, at the south pole, every okay. direction is north. And every at the North Pole direction is south. There's no right. there's no All location right. where it's always, yeah. always oh, west. Oh no, of course, of course. All right, senpai, senpai. You did great. You did great, man. You got you d- <laughs> truth be truth be told, you got you got way more right than I did in my brain. That's Congratulations, cool. Jack. Thank you. All right, good game, guys. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, drop a like. Let me know you want to see more in the comments. Let me know how many you got right. And a uh, big thing to Saline Flatulent provided these. If you want to see more of Saline Flatulent's work. Thank you, Flatulent. If I'm smart, I've left a link to his, his, his writing in the description. Go check it out. If I didn't leave it there, unsubscribe. Thank you very much, dude. See you next time. JJ. GG. Bye-bye. Dudes, as always, thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot. I also want to share with you guys that I'm now officially sponsored by Soylent. I drink at least two bottles a day. Just a meal in a bottle. Tastes good. 
Um, chocolate's my favorite flavor. Coffee, original, close second. Links in the description if you want to check it out and make me look good. And really, I think you're going to love it. Chocolate all day, baby. Thanks for watching, dudes.